off, this is like the most beautiful day that we've had so far in 2023. Like the sun is shining, Mercury in retrograde is over. It's like over 50 degrees today. I'm like, is it spring? <laughs> I feel like very, very vibrant and happy right now. And I feel like the past few weeks so far of this year have been like dark, dreary, really cold. So I was like, okay, let me make us some chili because it's one of our favorite dishes in the winter time, some crock pot chili. And of course today ends up being one of the most beautiful days, but you know what? I have my heart set on some chili, so we having some chili tonight. So I wanted to just take y'all along on this journey with me today. <laughs> Everything is a journey, <laughs> especially when I'm making dinner. Also this piece, look at this piece of hair. And you know what? It's my fault because I just like sit and I do this while I work and stuff. So, you know, it might, the piece might be hanging out with us. I might need to, to name her or something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to walk you through my chili making process. Um, this isn't going to be like a super particular cooking video or anything like that. I just, oh, and now the clouds came out. <laughs> but I, you know, I just thought it would be fun for us to kiki in the kitchen for a little bit. So let's get into it. Oh my gosh, so this week has already been super, super busy for me, um, just work-wise, honestly. I feel like I have a lot going on, like a lot of different moving parts and whatnot. So for me, fitting in time to do all of the things that I want to do feels really good. Like, oh my gosh, so this morning, so first off, let me tell you, you know that I have my, my AM routine and usually I'll wake up at 7.30. But, uh, so recently I started waking up at seven o'clock. That's been like my thing for 2023. I'm like, let me wake up 30 minutes earlier. You know, it's nice and quiet. I get like those moments of peace to myself. And my husband hasn't been waking up. He actually used to be a super early riser and he hasn't been waking up as early these days. So I was like, you know, it's fine. And I can get up and it's nice and quiet, whatever. And let me tell you something. So, <laughs> so he decided this week that he was going to start to get up at 630 and do his like yoga and his like, um, cause he, he goes to the gym and all that stuff. But lately he's been incorporating yoga into his routine. And so he said that he was going to wake up at 630 and start doing those things and whatnot. Mind you, this is 30 minutes before I do and I was loving my little like silence and all of that stuff. And so <laughs> I was like, all right, let's see how it goes. So he gets up. He's very loud. And so he gets up, he turns on the TV, he's moving around, he's doing all the things. And I'm just like, yo, my 7 a.m. mornings are ruined. So this morning, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get up at 6 a.m. Not a competition or anything. I was just like, I'm gonna get up at 6 a.m. because you won't be up. So I can at least have like some peace and quiet to myself before the day gets started. And so I got my, my behind up at 6 a.m. And I will say, I didn't love it that much only because it was really dark for a long period of time. <laughs> I'm used to like at 7 a.m. It's nice because it's like, okay, it's dark, but then, you know, there is, you know, the sun starts to rise, but I was up for like a good hour and a half or so before we saw any sun. And I was just like, Ooh, this is not very endearing. Like, I don't know. So I'm going to, I'm going to try it again tomorrow. I mean, the good thing is I, I did laundry. I cleaned out my cat's litter box. I like did my therapy homework. Like I, I was a little productive. You know, I had a lot of time on my hands being up that early, but, um, I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm going to see if, if it's something I'll keep up or if I'm just going to have to suck it up and just deal with the noise at seven o'clock. So we shall see. All right, so now that I have cut up all of the vegetables, so I cut up the onions, I cut up the scallions, the jalapenos, and the garlic, I'm gonna go and I'm actually gonna start cooking a few items before I put them into the crock pot. So I'm going to cook these delicious onions first. I love onions so much. Let me know if you love onions. I love onions, I love garlic. I like anything that makes my breath smell horrendous. <laughs> my breath don't be stank, but I, I, I enjoy these things. They taste amazing. Thank you. 
So I'm just gonna cook these for a few minutes to make them translucent and fragrant before I add it to the crock pot. Um, you don't wanna overcook it. So I'm gonna cook these for a few minutes. So I'm gonna add in some garlic. And from there, I'm gonna start cooking the ground beef as well so that I can have that nice and cooked up before we add it to the crock pot so all of the flavors can just work together to make one delicious dish. I'm adding a little more olive oil to this skillet because obviously the, uh, the onions soaked up all the olive oil. So, honestly cooking is something that I have like grown to love as an adult. I didn't really grow up in the kitchen. My mom and grandma are like insanely, insanely good cooks, but um, they didn't necessarily like have me there helping them out or anything like that. I was mainly eating, taste testing, just there for the ride. And um, so for me, cooking is just something like, it just kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that I am a foodie. I love to eat. I love to try new cuisines. I eat pretty much everything. <laughs> the only thing I don't like is broccoli, which is very crazy, but whatever. Um, and I was like, well, if I'm gonna be a foodie, if I'm gonna love to eat so much, I need to know how to cook. So I just started experimenting and playing with different flavors and I watch a lot of cooking shows so I learned a lot about different ingredients and different flavor, um, different like flavor tastes and whatnot, uh, flavor palettes and whatnot. And I don't know, I just got in there and just started cooking. I'm not, obviously not like a chef per se, but I definitely know how to throw down. I love entertaining for my friends and putting together like a big spread. I love having my friends over for dinner. Um, I don't know. It's just something about like having people eat your creation. It just feels so good. So we will put some salt and pepper now that the meat is starting to cook through. Um, add some salt and pepper. You know, we got to season that meat up. Yeah. And for me, like different seasonings and spices are really important. I'm Jamaican, so you know when it comes to seasoning something up, child. I know how to season up a good carrot. <laughs> I do not play when it comes to my seasonings and making sure that my food is very, very, very well flavored. And so, you know, we gotta make sure that this chili right here is definitely on point. Um, you know, I really wanted to make something that would last us for a few days. I know it's like the middle of the week, but David and I aren't going out this weekend, or I'm not going out this weekend. I think he has something, but um, you know, I'm not trying to cook, and it's better to just save a little bit of money. So having this chili that's gonna last us for a few days is so clutch and perfect. And you know, it's one of my favorite things to make in the crock pot. What are some things that you like to make in the crock pot? Let me know in the comments, um, and we can share some recipes. That is one of my favorite things to do, so make sure you all share some recipes in the comments section below. Now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna season it up season up the entire concoction now that we have a majority of the, the ingredients in there. I'm gonna wait before I put the beans in. I'm gonna put the kidney beans, the red kidney beans in towards the end, and then that's just gonna bring the entire thing together. But for now, I'm just gonna cook everything up. I'm gonna season it all up. Um, oh my gosh, so I'm really obsessed with my little, uh, <laughs> I don't know, like my little jars for my, uh, for all of my seasonings. If you follow me on Instagram, you see that you'll see that I recently did this. I recently like redid my entire spice cabinet because it was looking real crazy. Like, oh, look at it, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I mean, it looks empty. It looks weird right now because I took some of them out, obviously, because I'm using them. But uh, that was something, it took me like maybe, I wanna say like an hour or two hours to do. And I just got everything on Amazon. I got the little stickers and the jars on Amazon. And then I just sat down, put on some music 
<laughs> and I just like tr changed everything out. Um, if you want to do the same thing, I put it on my Amazon storefront so you can get the exact same ones. I love it. I feel like because I'm someone who cooks so often, having it organized has made my life so much easier. So the spices that I'm going to be using uh, today for my chili, obviously going to be using chili powder, cumin powder, um, coriander powder. I'm also going to be using some paprika. Uh, the stickers only said sweet paprika. I don't think that regular paprika is sweet, but I just put sweet paprika. I do obviously have the smoked paprika as well. And that one I know for sure is different. Some black pepper, salt, and then obviously one of my favorite all spices. Uh, it is <sighs> called so this is one of my favorite all spices. It's by Badia and it's their um, complete seasoning, Sazon Completa, and it's like my favorite. So I just put like a little bit of this in there too to give it like even more flavor, but I don't want to, you know, take away from the chili flavors, the natural chili flavors. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this in there as well. Yeah, so I'm just gonna season this thing up and then let it sit for a few hours and then I'm gonna revisit it a little bit later on this afternoon and add in the kidney beans, stir it up some more. I'm gonna check on it every so often, because when you cook things in the crock pot, you gotta be mindful. So I'm gonna start seasoning as I talk, but when you cook things in the crock pot, it's important that you are actively like seasoning as the hours go on. Like don't just season one time and then expect it to be fine once you know once you check on it in a few hours you got to keep tasting it making sure that the seasoning the flavors are coming through um yeah i think that's super super important i think when i first started using a crock pot one of the mistakes i made was just like i seasoned it up and then i just left it <laughs> and i was just like uh why does this taste like nothing when i put all these seasonings in there and that is because I wasn't continuously seasoning it as it cooks because sometimes I think like the flavor and whatnot kind of cooks out instead of like cooking in and seeping in. So, you know, just be mindful of that. But um, after I put this in there, I'm gonna start making the cornbread. I'm just gonna get that over with because I have a few things to do for work as well. So I just wanna make sure that everything is just cooking and moving so that by the time that I'm done with work, I can just take it all out and plate that thing. You know what I'm saying? Next up, cornbread. And I'm just gonna start by saying this. I'm Jamaican, I didn't grow up eating cornbread. I lived in Florida, but I'm not Southern. Uh, so if y'all make cornbread differently and I'm not doing it the right way, etc., etc., don't drag me too hard, okay? <laughs> I think I make a really good cornbread. It tastes very good. It tastes just like the cornbread whenever we go to um, different like soul food restaurants and whatnot. So, you know, whatever. But about to make some, got me two boxes of that Jiffy corn muffin mix. Uh, about to whip that up right now. And it shouldn't take me too long. All right, so you probably already heard the oven behind me. It is heated up. Now it's time to just mix this bad boy up. I got this amazing mixer from my mom. I'm not gonna use it yet, mom. I know you're watching. <laughs> I know my mom is watching the video right now. I'm not gonna use it because it's just like a little cornbread. It's nothing big, but I will be using my new mixer in a baking video or any video that calls for me to bake anything in the near future. I promise, I promise. So mom, don't read me. <laughs> Everybody, don't read me today. But yes, all right, let me go and make this cornbread because like I said, I got some work to do. And as you can see, the sun is going down because the sun sets super early all the time these days. And Whatever. All right.
All right, so my cornbread mixture is all stirred together. Uh, let me taste it before I put it in the oven. You gotta always taste everything as you go along. tastes so good I might put like a little bit more sugar I know I put a lot of sugar in there <laughs> but I might put a little bit more um, just because we like it a little we like it a little sweet over here and uh, and then I'm gonna pop it in the oven and uh, do what I gotta do so this is what happens when you're not paying attention <laughs> I was working and the alarm went off to let me know that the cornbread was done. So I checked on it, but it still needed a few more minutes. And I completely forgot that I had left it in there for a few more minutes. And now the edges are a little bit dark. It's fine, it's fine, it'll still taste really good. So what I like to do while it's still hot, that's when I like to just cut it into squares because it's a lot easier to just glide the knife through. Oops, don't wanna burn myself. But yeah, it's easier to glide the knife through when it's hot, so I'm just gonna go through and cut it now, but I'm so sad that the edges are a little bit dark. You know, this would never happen if I wasn't shooting this right now. <laughs> So I've obviously taken a shower, changed into my pajamas, took off that makeup. It is time for dinner. <laughs> And then after dinner, relaxation and bedtime. I am so excited to have some of this chili. It looks really good, it smells really good, and you know, it's been cooking all day long, so. Mm. Mm. No. Mm -hmm. Who's the cook? <laughs> also, this cornbread. I really like sweet cornbread. I love cornbread that's super sweet. <laughs> so obviously I put like some honey on top, like I drizzle a little bit of honey on top. And I just really, really love like a sweet and savory combination of food. So for me, this is like the perfect meal, <laughs> period. I am just like in heaven right now and I wanna like go hard, but obviously I'm still on camera. But I just want to say thank you so much for cooking with me. I know this was a, a slightly different video than you're used to seeing from me. Um, it wasn't fully a tutorial, but it wasn't fully a vlog. Um, but you know, I had fun anyways, just chit-chatting with you, showing you some of the process, some of the behind the scenes. And, but um, my chili is amazing. I'm gonna make sure to put the ingredients and the recipe in my description box below so you can make yourself some slow cooker chili and some cornbread i'm gonna put the recipe that i did for the cornbread in the description as well i am like really ready to to, to like tear this food up so i'm gonna go <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button that bell icon so you know my next video goes live if you have any questions comments concerns or feedback on how delicious my food looks be sure to leave it in the comment section below thank you so much again for watching i really appreciate you tuning in and also spending the time with me thank you again until next time <laughs>